The Patriots offense coming back onto the field here, desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You put this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. The Patriots at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. The Patriots will take the snap from the 25. Smith nearly comes away with the pick on that pass. Third and nine coming up. The Patriots will take the snap from the 25. Pulls it in. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short, defense makes the tackle, and here we are staring at a fourth down. The third quarter comes to a close, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. He's going to try and return this punt. Games 14. The quarterback matchup has been lopsided today, but the game certainly isn't. It's a close one, Phil. Yeah, all that matters is that scoreboard. And if you're the quarterback that's not having that great game statistically, who cares? Just find a way to win the game. down at the 32 looking long and there's a great catch nobody was going to catch him there touchdown and now as we look at some gaudy passing numbers he's within striking distance of breaking the single game pass yards mark well he's 75 yards away from breaking the single game mark for the most yards in a game in NFL history I know the coaches know where he stands on the sidelines. They're being told from upstairs. Everybody's excited about it. It wouldn't shock me to see him break that record here today. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. The Texans defense last time out there said, you know what? We're in the three and out business. The great late Charlie Jones would have said that was spectacular. And that's what they looked like on that last drive. They just, they dominated in every aspect. You had to love Charlie Jones. Oh, and he was the best. Gabbard standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Breaks at the tackle. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Third catch today so far. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. First down at the 39. And the reception by Brandon LaFell. The defense has a lead here in the fourth quarter, Jim, so they're willing to give up those short completions. Now it's up to the defense. Come up, make the tackle. Good job that time. The Patriots will take the snap from the 30. And it's just thrown away. At the 30-yard line, here comes the snap. Third down and one. Secures it with two hands. Lewis is tackled down after a gain of 10. Well, I think we're seeing something we see with so many teams now in the NFL. Running backs who can do it all. This guy can 
run, block, and he can catch short passes and make long gains after it. Nice job. Lewis is a receiver all the way out to the right. First and ten. Lays out and makes the play. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eyes. It's going to be a false start call on the offense. False start offense. Only eight yards to go. The Texans go with the dime formation here on defense. First and goal. He'll throw it over the middle. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Lewis going to secure the handoff. Kim, I love these situations. Third and goal. What are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with the pass. And if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. They step up to the nine-yard line. The offense still on the field here on fourth down, needing four to stay on the field. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. And it's knocked down. Offside defense. Still fourth down. The offense is still on the field right now. Fourth down, and they'll need to pick up two. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. Ware's going to take the handoff now. The Patriots decided to go for it on fourth down that time, and uh, hey, it didn't pay off. And of course, the coach, look at him now. He is second-guessing his decision. The Texans' offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them the last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, in this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. I mean, you feel you've got the momentum on your side. You've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right plays. Get ready. Two minutes. Two minutes remaining in the game. Back now with this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. Foster is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. And Arian Foster has the catch. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down, and that's what you want to do. Take your time. Look at the play clock. Take it down as low as you can and keep picking up those first downs. To Williams. That's McCordy making the stop. First down here after the completion. Whedon steps back into the gun. Foster on the screen. Has the first down and a whole lot more. Foster's met at the 30. And with that throw, we see again how close he is now to breaking the single game pass yardage record. 25 more yards. And you're sitting over there on the sidelines, the coach going, okay, we got some screens. You try to think of all the ways, if you get the football back, how to break that record. It is a special record. If you get a chance to do it, I think they should go for it and get that record. Second and six. Whedon's running away from the pressure. The ball is fumbled. They recover their own fumble. Nice job by the offense that time. Even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. 
The Patriots' defense now is going to go nickel. The Texans will take the snap from the 35. But it falls incomplete. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. The Texans will take the snap from the 35. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. The Patriots do a great job here on defense, making the stop on fourth and long. Yeah, fourth and long, there's only so few things you can do, Jim. So the defense was ready. They're well coached in situations like this, and they get it done. Lane Gabbert in shotgun formation. Coming up, second down. Looks like a penalty on the defense. Encroachment defense. Still second down. Second down here. to the line. First down marker is at the 32. Gabbert's back in shotgun formation. And the pass is thrown away. All set to punt here. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. And McCourty ready to lead this defense. And it has not been an easy day for him or anyone else on that defense, really. They've been knocked around pretty severely. Yep, Jim, it was all their fault. There's no doubt about it. They got beat physically. They made a lot of dumb mistakes. And when you do those two things together, you're going to lose the game. You get that win week one. And it certainly takes a little bit of the edge off, doesn't it? Oh, no, it does more than that. It takes a lot of the edge off. Uh, when you win the opening day game, you just feel like, hey, we're going to win them all. And all that hard work, it was all worth it. And the following week, you're going to listen to the coach because he led you to that first victory. For Phil Sen Thank you. 